So same as yesterday, except it's five minute instead of three minute. Um, you know, and the more you donate, the more you learn. It's sub Sunday, so I only play subs. And then um, if you're a sub, good. If you're not a sub, you should sub. If you can't sub, then ask in the chat and somebody will give you a sub. And um, if you have the means, you should give subs to people like I like to do so that everybody's a sub. Yeah, type exclamation mark challenge and then we'll see if it works. And five minutes, it does work. Yeah. All right. Um, absolutely. Okay. Then we'll get rid of the wrong challenges. Oh, no, they're all correct. All right. Now, first, before I show you this chess puzzle, then play you guys five minute. Okay. So let me see what her name is because I forgot her name. I want to say Norma Dash, but that's wrong. Martha Wash. I mean, it, what? Okay, Martha Wash is the greatest dance pop singer of all time. She has the most number one hits and nobody's ever heard of her. And the reason nobody's ever heard of her is she's very large. So they don't think she's marketable so they don't even put her names in when she's singing and they pretend somebody else is singing and this is her whole career. And there's two things that I knew, but I didn't know they were connected. I found out like 20 minutes ago. So I wanted to share with you guys. There's a song that's like a dance song. It's considered like a gay anthem. It's for male stripping and it's called It's Rain and Men. And they made fun of it on The Simpsons when um, Homer was barred from the bar and Mo said, I'm taking your favorite record out of the jukebox. No, it's not Rain and Men. You can't take that out. And he said, it's not Rain and Men no more. And he throws it out the window and it hits Smithers in the head while he's driving. And he goes, ooh. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> that song is sung by the Weather Girls. And nobody knows who the Weather Girls are because... Nobody knows who they are. And let's see, is it Martha Wash yet? Did I, did I already forget it? Is it Martha Wash? Okay. So she's one of the weather girls at that time. They, they changed later. Then there's a well-known story that in the song from the 80s and or 90s, I forgot, um, Gonna Make You Sweat, uh, uh, baby. And it's by like C&C Music Factory. And in the video, there's a like, model, thin, black woman singing, but she's not singing. That's They hired somebody for the video. And I knew that. And I knew the reason they had her in the video was the real singer was very large and they didn't, you know, not marketable. Okay. <clears throat> what I didn't know is that that's the same woman. The woman, one of the women from It's Rain and Men and the woman who sings Gonna Make You Sweat is the same woman and she sings on 50 number one dance hits, but she never gets any credit because I think she weighs like 350. So they just pretend it's somebody else. Frankly, terrible. So I just want to let you know that. I, I knew CNC Music Factory, that was a fake woman, but I didn't know like every single dance song ever, they don't give her credit because, and she sued them and so forth. So remember that Martha Wash, she's the best. Also, et cetera. Okay, I hope you've learned something today. I just don't know what it is. Um, <clears throat> Seymour Skinner is the bestest. Did I say Skinner? Did I say that? I hope I didn't. What, what I meant to say was um, Smithers. Did I say Skinner? If I did, I meant Smithers. Obviously, Smithers getting hit with it. That's funnier than Skinner because Smithers. You know. right. Yeah. Yeah, I decided to change... The, uh, the width of the, you know, I, I fool with some settings. That way the pictures look better. You can get a little more of the room. Colors look okay, I guess. I don't know. Now when Karen gets here, she'll change it. I said Smithers. Okay, good. <laughs> Synthetic Assault subscribed. And then Champ1977, he gifted subs like a champ. Five subs. He took it like a champ. Yay, go Smithers. I, I say the wrong thing a lot. Like, I'll say something, but I mean something else. 
I could read something and I read it and I read it wrong. I know what it says, but I, I don't know. Crazy like Fox News. Yeah, Mar Martha Wash is a genius of the highest caliber. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot how many beginners watch my stream. All right. Ah, the truth hurts. Uh, did I send it right? No, you sent it left. Man, we haven't had a thing on the hype train. I I'm very... Ooh, period. Karen Spencer and I went to Indian today and occasionally Karen and I will get a beer, like an Indian beer, but she didn't feel like it. So I said, you have sparkling water? And he said, we have Perrier. I mean, I've been going there for three and a half years. I never got a Perrier there. I'm like, all right. So I got two Perrier. That was the best Indian food ever. Man, I thought I did. All right. I'm not as smart as I thought I was. But I wasn't thinking very much of myself, so... And everybody challenged me correctly. Terrible. Yay. Clara Cottontail hopped down. I mean, subscribed. How far has online chess sunk when Bic has more viewers than Ben? Bigfoot has more viewers than me? I mean, that sounds like he's on chess TV. <laughs> Doesn't Bigfoot usually have like 100 viewers? Uh, Robert E. 630, gifted five subs. I like Bigfoot. You know, Dutch. Somebody's got to be Dutch. You know, truth hurts. Oh, Benjamin Bach should, should have more viewers than me. Yeah. I don't think Benjamin Bach's streaming because I follow him and I don't see it. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Robert E. 630. Yay, we're level four. Perrier goes in here. Why do you like Perrier so much? How can somebody answer that question? What answer makes any sense? The answer is fries. Because it, it, frankly, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, I had a Poland Spring, that's also good. Yeah, I, I like every sparkling water or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, why does anyone like anything? Man, five minutes is slow. We got to keep the donations up so it's not boring. Now, these magnets will pull you apart and then you'll die. That sounds really cruel. Yeah, but at least it's not boring. Well, let's see. Maybe he'll take this and I'll win his queen. Damn. Nothing ever works. Any edgy jokes about Israel these days? Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'll make one up while, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, eh, let's see. Something. B4... Take on the C7. I'll go here. So, you know why Israel sent all their supermodels, you know, over, over to the Palestinians? Because some guy in the Israeli government heard that those women were to bomb. Oh, snap. Let's see. I don't know. I should have some winning move. It's all put together, you know, terribly. What's what are the Palestinians' favorite um, uh, pop song from the eighties? Is it from the eighties? I think so. Yeah. Anybody? It's from the Gap Band. You dropped a bomb on me, baby. You dropped. Bomb on me, but you turn me on. Da -da. Da -da. When somebody told the leader of Hamas that Israel was sending dozens of rockets, what did he say? You gotta be kidding me. Bam! 
This move was first played in the game Gotcha versus Bitch. Oh, snap. Time to get that refund from Morozevich. Bam. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. <laughs> hey, I can't win all of his pieces. Just one. I'm so sad. You dropped a bomb on me. I thought the Palestinians were Jews because their name's Palestine. Oh, snap. Etc. Yeah, I think what's going to happen is the only way the fighting is going to end is all the Palestinians are going to go to Germany. Germany's been begging them to come because they love Steins. So... They can't wait to get all those steins. No, the hype train died. No. Yeah, all these poker players went there because they thought there was PLO. It was terrible. Man, I should stop telling jokes because you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to tell jokes, and know when to run. Dun, 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 dun. There'll be time enough for bombing when the deal is done. <clears throat> That's right. I received a train emote? Damn. Yay, choo choo. Okay, what happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. <clears throat> My position is too good. I better blunder something. Yeah, Bishop F7 was pretty cool. I wonder if it was good. I want to see if Bishop F7 was good. I think it was. Uh, yeah. I'm just interested in that one move. I don't care about the rest of the game. Let's see. Let's move 24. All right. I played 95.9. He played 92. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, you wouldn't be ignorant. You'd just be stupid. Like, if you're ignorant and people tell you stuff so you're not ignorant, but then you still believe the same thing, then you're stupid. Yeah. Harsh. Truth hurts. Is it better to be ignorant or stupid? Yeah. Yeah. Tough one. I don't know the answer because I'm ignorant. Or maybe I don't know because I'm stupid. Damn. I'll have to ask Ralph Wiggum. He'll know. Or Mark, wait. Ralph Wiggum. Yeah, that's right. How come I never saw you in school? I don't go to school. Oh yeah? What's three plus four? 10? All right, his story checks out. Eh, let's see, Bearfighter21 subscribed. I'm Idaho. That's right, sure, sure you are, sure you are. And now the prize for the two kids who obviously had no help from their parents Florida and Idaho, 
Come up, Ralph and Lisa. I'm Idaho. Of course you are. Not only was that making fun of Homer, but when Lisa won some award for writing, <laughs> the, the woman in charge said, I don't know, that smells like the daddy's helping her because it was too good. So she starts talking to Homer and asking about if he's a writer or whatever. And then at the end she goes, okay, I'm giving Lisa extra points for having that father. <laughs> uh, and so on. Uh. That's right, Marge was gambling. And the best scene in that episode is when, like, you know, we're hungry, but mom's not here to cook for us. Pfft, I'll make you something. Let's see. What do we got here? We got cloves, some frozen pie crust, some Tom Collins mix. Let's get your mother. <laughs> Sounded good. And all the ingredients you need for something, frankly, delicious. Your history. See, Cold Mountain's a funny movie because it's about America and all the actors aren't from America. Jude Law and Nicole Kidman, thanks. America. Da, 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 da. Uh, the cowboy film? No, that's not Cold Mountain. That's, uh, that's, uh, I saw it too in the Toronto Film Festival. I give up. Somebody tell me. Brokeback Mountain. That's right. Yeah, it's funny because like 20, 30 years ago, I got evicted and I didn't live on a mountain, but I was homeless for a couple of weeks and it was sort of like a hilly area. So they actually filmed a documentary about me that nobody ever saw called Broke Ass Mountain. I mean, I was a broke ass. God damn. Broke Ass Mountain. Memories. Uh, King Sendo subscribed. Hooray. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. I, I don't recommend anything. I can't think of American history movies. That sounds boring. I don't know, maybe Malcolm X. Was that movie just called X? The one with Denzel Washington playing Malcolm X? Was that called X or Malcolm X? I think it's called X. That was like 40 years ago. I don't know. No, American History X is a, that's another movie. That's with what's his name? Ed Norton. Not Ralph Cramden. Ed Norton. 200 cents to dues. Malcolm X gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. That's right. You tell him DMX, AKA Malcolm X, except for one thing. Have you seen Selma or Mississippi burning? Uh, I saw Mississippi burning before you guys were born. I don't think I saw Selma, but I might have. What's the movie about the black guys who are like butlers in the White House for like a thousand years? That was a good movie, but I forgot the name of it. You know what I'm talking about? No, not the help. No. Men in Black? No, no, every every answer is wrong. Every answer is the worst. So I only see three checkmates in one. Uh, sort of like this one. Uh, trading Places? Black Klansman? You're just naming movies, but not the movie I'm talking about. Is it The Butler? Yeah, with Forrest Whitaker, The Butler. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, The Butler was a good movie. I like that. Yeah. 
Django Unchained was a great movie. Yeah. I like on Family Guy, the, the guys leave. I forgot why. So the women are just sitting around drinking. And um, uh, they're talking about actresses. And they're like, you know, denouncing them for the main part. Then uh, somebody asked Cleveland's wife, do you like, you know, so-and-so? And she's like, I don't even know who that is. And then they said, okay, what if I told you her name was Tyler Perry Presents? And then her name, she says, oh, yeah, I like her. <laughs> hey, it's Karen. I didn't know you were here, so it was scary. Uh, I, have to, I have kind of printed some things that have to do with her. What do you want to do? Karen looks super happy. Was it my favorite activity? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yabba dabba doos dash 700 times. All right. Well, I, now I have to play rated because I have to get the three rating points. Mm -hmm. First, I'll find the highest rated player challenging me and give him queen odds. <laughs> In five minutes. Then I'll play a rated game and get to 2600. All right. So Italy, you, sir, are getting my queen. You're the best. Maybe he doesn't want my queen. I don't know. The goal isn't to win. The goal is to be up several queens at the end. All right, if you don't want to play, we'll play somebody else. Everybody is rated nothing. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. What what's this is my slow rating? Three minute. Or I'll win one game, then I'll get back to playing you guys. Yeah. Bye, sweetie. Twenty five ninety four. Harry Kane. Go, Harry Kane. He was the goalkeeper for what was it Chelsea? I don't even remember. I think it was Chelsea. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm thinking of Friedel. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was thinking of Friedel. Yeah, Harry Kane's just a great striker. Yeah, yeah. does he play for... Uh, does he play for Tottenham? Harry Kane? I'm American, so I don't know. Yeah, Tottenham. No, no, I, I, I was just thinking of, of uh, Friedel. And the reason was it had an American flag... And I was thinking Friedel's American and Josh Friedel's American. So I was easily confused. I thought I was playing five minute because I've been playing five minute the whole time. So pay attention a little bit. The San Antonio Spurs. Oh, it's not actually Harry Kane. What do you mean? It says 2594, National Master, American. All right, maybe it's not Harry Kane. What American national mans master would name himself after a British soccer player? Very suspicious. Who, I said, who? Never play F6. And I never did. <laughs> Better than all the rest. <laughs> Anyone I ever met. Bishop d5 might be okay. Yeah. Might not be. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -huh, the rest. Still theory. It's my game with Harry Kane. You ignorant American, you confuse this with that and this with that. It's like something I would do. Yeah, I don't like this position anymore. Should have played E5. Uh, all right, whatever. <laughs> Guess I should take with the rook. Ah, man, no matter what I do is bad. All lines are bad. Eh, after bishop d5, I should be okay. I think. 
have queen d1, he can't play king f2. So I would, yeah, so that's fine for me. Uh, somehow I have more time. All right, so I did it like this. I did it like that. Yeah, so many moves are good for him. He's taking a lot of time. He's like, wait, does this win? Does this win? That'll show him. Unless he finds the win, then it'll show me. That would suck. Ah, bishop takes, I didn't see that. That was dumb. Now I lose a piece for nothing? Jesus. Time well spent. Yay, thanks for the 400 centitudes. I've seen all my videos. I'm a legend. I'm a legend in my own mind. Now I'm down a piece for nothing. All right, truth hurts. I'm down a piece and like I'm worse too. Like my position's in a lot of trouble, even if I wasn't down a piece. Uh, simply the worst. I'm worse than now the rest. I gotta be the guy with the same rating as me with a piece down? Damn, that's not nice. And less time? Ugh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right. I wish I was Eric Rosen. I could draw easily. Boo. Boo. I'll get back to playing you guys once I get to 2600 again. So it could be like a year. Yeah. Terrible. I'm lost, but I have more time. Yay. That's right. Five bits. Thanks, Julesy. What else did I miss? No, I saw that. Thanks for crushing me. Thanks for the 400 cent to do's. You're the best. I mean, maybe not the best, but you're better than me. And he plays F3, so I have to go here. I don't want him to play F3, so. And the pieces are all trapped. <sighs> that was a nice tactic he tricked me with last game. Frankly, terrible. Is there a reason why I didn't play Knight C? Oh, because it's nice defending it. That's a good reason. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. H4 looks pretty stupid. 
I'm pretty stupid. Yeah. Not just my game. Uh, Bishop G4. Yeah, I'll probably be all right. Mm -hmm. If I can go here, I'm probably not lost. This bishop's not very good. These pieces are almost good. I have 20 seconds more. What other excuses can I make? I had great Indian food today. Not sure how that matters. Uh, let's see. Carry the one. Yeah, that's a good move. Oh, and now I can go here. I couldn't go there before. But, you know, I'm sort of afraid of bishop g4. Uh, hmm. Dang, I don't like knight c7. All right. Oh, now he has a d5 threat. Terrible. Yeah, that move was too good. Yeah, this I don't like. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm bad and I should feel bad. All right. <clears throat> and I lost my time advantage by playing badly. Slow and bad. It's the opposite of most of the super GMs. Man, when did I get bad at chess? When did it happen? Probably in the last four years. He has this check. Jesus. All right, whatever. I'm sure I'll mate him on the G file, except for one thing. my queen if I go there. God, I'm winning if I play knight takes rook. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess when he can't use his engine, he doesn't play very well. Da, 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 da. Better than all the engines. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. It's good singing. All right, this will be my last game. Then I'll get back to beating you punks. Losing every game is annoying. I mean, I like losing every game. I just don't like it a lot.
My position looks good, except for one thing. Man, why do I play slow and bad? Because I'm bad and slow? Damn. Wasted by my own petard. See, you guys aren't donating. That's why I lose every game. Something. So I'll resign this move, or I'll lose. Then I guess he can try queen g2. I might miss queen g7. Except I won't. <coughs> Still theory. Oh, this is hanging too. But he is down 400 pieces, so probably I'm winning. Queen g7 takes, pawn takes. That is funny. All right, whatever. Doesn't work, but it's funny. Uh, what happened? Yay, thanks for the raid and thanks for crushing me. I'm very sore. Oh, wait, you're sore. Uh, thanks for the raid. Go, somebody shout out. Uh, Abid Abidu gifted us up. Thank you. All right, what happened? I ain't got no pieces. He's got no pieces. Probably still gonna lose because I suck. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess. Damn, I am gonna lose. I mean, I'm winning, but I know I'm gonna mess it up. That's how I roll. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I'll give up this bishop to stop that check. Twenty six seconds. Come on, Ben. Ridiculous. Thanks for the thirty dollars. You're the best. Yeah, I caught up on time.
I lost on time? I looked at the clock three seconds ago. Or three moves ago. God. 2,000? I can't play a 2,000. When I play somebody over 1,500, I lose. <clears throat> it's Lizzo. Yeah, Lizzo's... Uh, Lizzo. Karen's great at singing The Truth Hurts. She really is. Yeah, she does that really well. Mm -hmm. Go Lizzo. Yeah, Karen sings like Lizzo, and I eat like Lizzo. So that's why, you know, that's why she likes that song. And I say the truth hurts all the time. So, you know, she's L to the Izzo. Yay, go CL Smith. You're the best. Well, let's see here. Let's see, how does this do? Eh, it loses. I can't do it because he's 2,000. I'm going to do it anyway. Man, so many moves look good here. All right, I guess I'll go here. But if he plays H6, I have mate. Bamba and the 40 Thieves. Yeah, that wasn't a good move. Oh well, truth hurts. Lizzo, E6. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Oh, what a bad move. I mean, Queen D5 is better. That's Bishop's Trap. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Yeah. Da -da -da. Uh, E6. Frankly, terrible. All right, we'll give him a chance. You always say that. I want to take a chance. Mm -hmm. Yay, I sacked a piece for a Czech. I don't mean a person from Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic. A Czech. I don't mean like a Czech I get for winning a tournament. A, a Czech. Mm -hmm. Check it. And on the cool stage, on the center mic, putting it on whack, it's the new style, 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. Got more than Picasso got paint. Man, more rhymes than Picasso got paint. How does he do that? Picasso had a lot of paint. Oh, yeah, that's me. The new routines. I get it. I got it. Uh, no, that's wrong. All right. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Have a good night and a good bishop. Yeah. Yeah, I was, here's, what, here's what's funny. Now, if you don't know this, you'll think I'm kidding, so you can look it up. Lizzo's also a vegan. I'm serious. <laughs> look it up. Lizzo's a vegan. We showed vegans everywhere. We're like three vegans and one, me and Lizzo. Like three each. Yeah. Yeah, I said the truth hurts. I'm a vegan. Karen sings Lizzo. It's like we are, it's like we are Lizzo. Oh, I want to do that so bad. Oh. Uh, uh. All right, I won't. But I really want to. It's such a terrible move. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, lots of viewers. Dun, 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 dun. What do you like to get at Indian restaurants? Food. I like everything. Everything's great. What did I get today? I got onion pakora, veggie samosa, mulligatani soup. We got we tried to get mango pickle because it's really hot, and they were out of it. So we got lime pickle, which was very similar. So it was just as hot and it was fine. So we got that. You know, for the Papa Dom and the appetizers. And then Karen got chicken tikka appetizer. Not the masala, not, not the sauce, just the, the chicken. And then I got um, uh, aloo. Um, uh, what would I get? Potatoes and what? What was the other thing? Potatoes. Was it peas? No. What was the other thing that wasn't potatoes? I don't know.
I don't remember what the other thing was. Maybe Karen does. I still have some at home. And then uh, and Spencer got chicken tikka masala. He, he wasn't feeling well today from the, from the shot he got yesterday from J&J. Then he felt a little better, so he ate with us. But he was like sleeping and couldn't move and couldn't get up. And he was cold. And he had everything that you can get. And, uh, and now he's okay, I think. I have another child anyway, so I still have a daughter. Da, da, da. I don't know what to do. I like my position. I just don't know what to do. Yeah, maybe he won't play night takes. Maybe he'll be scared. Yeah. Yeah, night takes are actually bad. I thought it was good. I just thought maybe he won't play it. But yeah, it is bad. Da, da, da. Spencer will be 30 next month. Which state do you live in? Someone get that guy a TV. Who's my favorite Indian person? I guess Vishyanand. Yeah, you can't get paneer. Paneer is cheese. Uh, what is paneer cheese? I'm getting confused here. Is paneer cheese? I'm like old and tired and stupid. Da, da, da. This Indian restaurant, which we go to all the time, they actually, um, they actually uh, say on the menu what's vegan and what's not, which is weird. They say vegan, you know, because most Indian restaurants don't do that. They just figure out you're vegetarian, that's good enough. If you're vegan, go away. Let's see. Queen takes and he mates me. Terrible. Mm -hmm. No, it was complicated why night takes was bad. No, I haven't watched Invincible. Uh, let's see. Okay, now this looks good. Finally. Queen takes D2 scary? No. Whoa. Man, there's bad and there's that move. God damn. It might be the worst move in chess history. It's possible. It's probably not, but it's close. <laughs> 